Hello, my name is Charlie, editor and secondary host for X2. And today we're going to do a special map in Empire at War Remake where we have the Viscount versus the Eclipse. Uh, thank you very much for Madame for creating this ma uh, map for us. And uh, before we get into it, I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of both ships. The Viscount, the first Mon Calamari star defender produced for the Republic fleet. Not only was it the first, but it was the greatest New Republic capital ship ever created. Designed after the Black Fleet Crisis, this big boy ship stands in at 17 kilometers long and a crew of 68,000. The Viscount trades out less hangar space for more armor, alongside its standard Mon Calamari shield generators. And whilst the Viscount doesn't match its opponent, the Eclipse, in raw power, its strength lies in its endurance and tenacity. The Eclipse Star Destroyer was the greatest Imperial Dreadnought of all time. Being the Emperor's final flagship, this utterly devastating ship stands in at 17.5 kilometers long. The one feature that separates this vessel from most other SSDs is its super laser that funnels along the spine of the ship to the front. Whilst this laser is not as strong as the Death Star's main weapon, it can still utterly destroy planetary shields and wipe continents, theorizing that this ship has about 25% of the Death Star's destructive potential. Right, now that we've got that over the way, let us go for the battle. Right, here we go, Eclipse versus Viscount. So if we start this, <clears throat> the Eclipse will be using its super laser and we're going to see if the Viscount can handle it and see uh, if that changes the tide of the battle. So already, blimey. Um, right. So let me try and rotate the camera here. Ooh. Okay, so this is the only input I'm going to put in for this battle. And we're going to give this a little go. Are you ready? You could do this, big boy. And it's go, go, go. Wow. Already, it's down to half shields. But... Wow. Holy moly. That is rough. And the thing is, do we only do one laser? Or do we do two? I think if we do two, it would make it a bit more even. I don't know. We definitely have to do one. Nah, yeah, I think we may have to do two because... The Eclipse is just not standing up uh, in terms of uh, of damage, ignoring the super laser. But that's not to say that the Viscount is stronger. It's just that its armor is way more than the Eclipse. So as you can see here, the shield points is at 100,000 for the Eclipse, uh, while the Viscount has four times more shield points um, in this mod. So... If anything, the Eclipse has a lot more damage. It's just not being shown here right now. <laughs> because uh, just the Viscount has just so much defending itself. Um, I mean, you know, put the Eclipse against anything else. You know, it's easy game. But this, this is a little different. You know, it's the unstoppable force versus the unmovable object sort of thing. A little bit. <laughs> I think we may have to do another another um, another super laser. I think it's only fair. Let's see. Let's see how we go. I think it'll lose its shields before. Yeah. So it's, the shields are gone. Let's see how well it does against this. This should do a lot of damage. Or not. <laughs> well, actually, no, it was a lot. But, so how much is that? That must be roughly about 100,000 flat hit point damage if we're talking game specs. I don't know how that would translate lore-wise, but... Um, this is a lot more closer because 
the uh, the Viscount does have does have only a little bit more hit points than the Eclipse, but shields four times more. So this will get pretty close. Plus, I don't know why it's turning away like that because that's obviously going to make it. Uh, mm. It's really bad movement from the Viscount. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps I shouldn't have done the two lasers. We'll redo this again, uh, just to see how it goes with one laser. I, if if the ship here wouldn't be moving like this, um, I I think, I think the Eclipse would be losing a lot more health, because as you can see, it's taking hardly any damage right now. That's because the Viscount has decided to. I don't know, just like completely turn its back on the eclipse. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll do another one, and uh, I'd only use one laser because unfortunately I can't stop the AI from just turning its back <laughs> on the uh, on the eclipse and there, and thus doing significantly less damage. Um, but it's turning around again, so who knows? Maybe it's just uh, handicapping itself a little bit just to show off. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, realistically speaking, without a uh, without a super laser, uh, I I I think without a super laser shot from the eclipse, I really don't think uh, the eclipse would win this one. At all. <laughs> My god. I mean, both do tank quite a lot of health, especially in the early game when they were perfectly aligned to do max damage. Yeah, it's doing significantly less damage. So, what if I just try and bring it up? I'm going to just bring up the Eclipse just to give it a bit more even game. But I think this is maybe a bit too late for that. But we'll see. We'll see. Man, just look at this. Beautiful, beautiful models. And Viscount here as well. Stunning. There we go. So yeah, it's coming up now. Uh, but it looks like it's not gonna, it's not gonna hold very well. Let's see. Now it's now it's no longer showing its back to the eclipse. Let's see how much damage it starts doing. But it has significantly taken a lot of uh, a lot of damage already. Hmm. Look at that. Also, for people watching, what is your favourite ship? Please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, whether or not this uh, fight is accurate or not. Or if uh, you've just got a particular liking to one ship compared to another. <laughs> I mean, I'm going into this quite blind. I don't really particularly have a, uh, a favourite, per se, between these two ships. But... Um, I'm pretty sure you guys do. I'd love to hear. Hmm. See, now that they're both facing... Let me try and stop this guy. There we go. There's no longer need to turn here. <clears> hmm. <throat> mm. Yeah. I think it's just a little... Too little, too late here at the moment. I feel. Um, yeah, just, just. I need you to stop. Now you can stop. You can stop. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think. 
We may need to rerun this again for fight two. I'd only use one. Uh, only use one super laser. And then see how we go there. Because I think, I still think the uh, the Viscount two hits from the super laser. With two, tank having it tank two of those hits, I do genuinely believe that it would have out damaged it in the long run. But because of the movement that the AI caused, I feel like it gave itself too much of a handicap to uh, to outlast. I mean, like, even with the fact that, you know, it had its back to it for a couple of minutes, it's already bringing it pretty close. Now, imagine if we did that with one super laser. This fight would be over already, I would say. And that the AI hadn't uh, moved awkwardly. I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen in the next right uh, in the next one. I might have to just like tell the eclipse to to move to specific rotation points, just to, make, to stop the AI from causing an unfair advantage on itself. <clears throat> yeah, look. I mean, the, the, the super laser has, you know, landed, I would say roughly about 200,000 or a quarter of a million hit points here. And uh, and the Viscount's just landed. I mean, how much has it landed in this? Yeah, roughly about, uh, yeah, about 200,000 hit points on its own without any form of like, Special power-ups or or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's not close, but it's, it's not too far off. We will do this again. And I will time code these in the video. Um, see, like, it's moving away again. What are you doing, buddy? I want you to move. That's what I want you to do, buddy. There we go. Look at this poor girl go down. Pop, and there it goes. <laughs> uh, no death animation at the moment. We are using a uh, early release of remake, so um, yeah, <laughs> no death animations, but. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll give this one to the Eclipse. And uh, we'll move on to the next game. Okay. Uh, quick current game. Right. But yeah, this update will be coming soon, guys. Uh, public. So uh, you'll be able to try these out for yourself. Right. Here we go. Let's go again. But this time, only one super laser. And I want to try and keep these aligned. I wanted to just try and push the envelope a little. See how far the, uh, the Viscount could go. So, okie dokie. Let's get our super laser off immediately. Now, just to be clear here. like The, the, the Eclipse would really have to angle itself first. Uh, the mod allows the super laser to take an angle but in law obviously this would have to be absolutely straightforward it wouldn't be able to angle it like that um, but yeah so here we go Ooh, we already with the, uh, the super laser I mean don't get me wrong the eclipse alone without the super laser is doing mountains of damage <clears throat> That is a 400,000 hit point shield. While the Eclipse has, I believe, what was it? 1,000? Uh, 100,000. So again, the Viscount, four times more shield points. <clears throat> and But the Vi Viscount has already like leveled it out percentage-wise. Um, so we've got it turning here. So I'm going to have to align a bit better. It's turning that way, ain't it? So I'm gonna have to go this way. Can 
Can I not turn you up? Oops. Okay. Maybe not. Yeah. As you can see here, like... The Viscount is really chewing through it. And it is just tanking. Purely tanking. Wow. The dark side clouds all. Oh man, I really don't want to have it turn around all the way. Right. This should do for now until the Viscount decides to do a full 360. <laughs> But as you can see here, you could see like things are kind of closing down a bit. It's kind of like narrowing a little. Um, and this is because the Eclipse has more um, hit points than shield points. By over about like uh, two times more. So the percentage wise it is closing in. But, uh, but again, the Viscount does have about uh, roughly about 50,000 more hit points. Than, uh, uh, than the, the Eclipse. So this part of the battle should be quite interesting because it is already quite close. And yeah, it's doing its full turnaround again. I mean, me theorizing and doing the math right now, the Viscount should probably win this fight. Um... But, but then again, I, I do think it could still tank another super laser and still win. But for these circumstances only, you get one shot. Uh, very odd placement, AI, i got to say. But it's, it's, it's close, guys. It is close. I wasn't expecting it to be this even field. I mean, I think before we went in to this fight, I generally did think the Eclipse would be able to uh, take it out in time. Because uh, what the Viscount wants to do is they, it, they really want to elongate this fight as long as possible while the Eclipse needs to finish it fast. And I believed that it would be a, the Eclipse would be able to do that uh, with the Super Laser. But, um... But yeah. Let me try and... Okay, so now... Now that it's done its full rotation, maybe I can just get the Eclipse to just move up again. There we go. Mm. Okay, I'll bl I'll trust in the uh the pathfinding here. It's okay, so it's just rotating a little bit before coming back in again. Can I can I actually maybe yeah there we go. Look at that very close. Let me try and get some more angles for you guys. That would be a good... Oh, that would be such a good shot for thumbnail to have the uh, super laser hit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we go. Some cinematic shots for you. By the way, guys, I will mention this again at the end of the video, but uh, Ek himself has released a... Um, a fan-made animation of this, and it is amazing. So, uh, if you think this is cool, definitely check that out. I'll link it here now uh, in the description. But again, I'll also put it in a card in the top right uh, at the end of this video. Yeah, look at all that firepower. I 
I just need to doubly make sure that these two are fo following each other. Yeah, it's 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 still really close. <clears throat> like I actually believe the Viscount's done less damage this game compared to the first game. <laughs> I'm just trying to chase up with the AI. But the AI is just wanting to move away from me. But I gotta keep it even game. What I'll do is I'll do a few more cinematic shots and then bring you up to, you know, the final moments of the fight here because I uh, I think we know what the winner is going to be at, in this uh, matchup. Right, and we're back. Just wanted to give you a few cinematic shots here. I uh, I will say though, can I not command him anywhere? What if I give you waypoints? Nope. I guess not. I don't think I can move him anymore. No. Viscount's just showing off here, moving away again. Uh. Which I guess doesn't matter at this point because uh, the, the the health difference here is indicates a clear winner. And there we go. I think we do have a death an animation here, yeah. That is a sad sight. Look at that. Silence. Oh, wow. 
Wow. And the Viscount's already regenerating its shields. Yeah. Probably also why the Viscount was moving so much is because its uh, max speed is a little higher than uh, the Eclipse's. Oh, man. We'll play some sad music as uh, I say thank you for watching, guys. Really appreciate all the support that you've given for the channel so far. Um, my name has been Charlie. Uh, and if you want to see a more epic render of this fight, be sure to check out X uh, Battle of the Dreadnoughts video. I'm linking in the top uh, right of the screen right now in the info card. Click that to go and see that amazing movie. Uh, so the results are... Uh, the Eclipse wins with two laser points, uh, two laser, uh, super lasers against the Viscount, the Viscount, but in realistic terms, on the second fight where we only get one super laser, the Viscount uh, survives. And uh, while the Viscount did probably do less damage in the second fight, um, if we, you know, I, I uh, do believe that I think it could still probably tank two shots. Maybe I might be wrong. What are your thoughts, guys? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading absolutely every single comment. Um, uh, let me know what your best ships are. Let me know who you think should have won uh, outright. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with some sad music as the uh, the eclipse falls to, uh, to the planet below.